first and let them stick it on better. These wheels are all identical, so they have an, um, a hand thing on the side, they also have a foot pedal. I find that like the hand pedal is good actually because you can it's a little more precise. They'll go really fast, but I guess I really like a slower speed to work at slower speed because I find when it's going really fast, it will fling so around a lot. So. Um, usually, your centering speed is faster okay. than the forming speed, and generally, like the closer you are to the end of doing it, the slower it is. So, but when you're just doing the final finishing on a pot, it's your wheels going really slow. First objective is to get the surface smooth. I am trying to get it in the center also, but the first thing is just to get it rounded and smooth. And the, my, the basic grip I use, now there's all kinds of ways to, to do this. If you look on the internet, you can see all kinds of different ways of centering hands and everything, but I'll show you mine, and I find if we overlap the two like that, I can squeeze like that quite hard. And the reason I'm bringing it up into a cone shape, and what that does is that you can get out this area down here and work it, otherwise if it stays in a ball shape, it's harder to get in at the bottom. And to keep your hands from moving, usually if you lean on your, I usually lean on the right arm, and that will really steady it. And another major thing is that try to get the this area down here is the most important because once it's centered, the rest of it will follow. So I try to pinch in and use the bottom of my hand to pinch in on that and make sure that's even there. Centering is just something you have to practice, and the more you do it, the better you get at it, I think. So, um, That's pretty much centered. That's about the shape. It's a little bit indented here, so if it's flattened right down, now it depends for the plates, we're going to flatten them anyway, but for a more upright pot, it's better to have this lifted up a bit. I'm not sure whether to do to do a regular pot or just go right to the plate, that's what would be more. Thanks. All right. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yes. it's all related, so. Okay, for the plate, so for the opening, this is open, <coughs> the opening stage, you can use either hand and whatever feels comfortable. I think generally, if it feels comfortable, it, that means it's probably okay. So, and if you feel awkward and uncomfortable, then it's going to be difficult to sustain that. So So you would open it like that when you're doing a plate or yeah. a pot? Yeah, okay. you always start the same yep. way. Because <laughs> the main thing this is for is it sets the depth. Mm -hmm. like you want to know how deep you have to go and how much clay you're going to leave, mm -hmm. like for a base. So mm -hmm. you set that right away. But you would leave more for a base for a plate, right? Yeah, these mm -hmm. are going to be trimmed a bit. And they, they have to be a bit thicker, but not too thick. So how thick? Well, um, I'll do this and, and show you. Say for a smaller, depends on if you're going to have a foot. Like, let me show you an example of a trimmed. So that one's flat. So that doesn't have a foot. So basically, that would be thinner on the bottom, right. and that has more a bit of a foot. So, 
it was it was thicker. But if it's too thick, it'll make it heavy. So it would be sort of it's the yeah. I'm not into trimming, so I don't. <laughs> That's the best part. You fix all your mistakes. A lot of people really like trimming. So.